Sports events draw millions of people to stadiums around the world every year to see the action play out on the field. But there's far more that goes on behind the match itself, with cheerleaders, competitions, endless food choices, and as much to drink as you could want. It's a full day of entertainment. One of the things that people look forward to the most is the antics of their team's mascots, who will dance, engage the crowd, and keep the energy high. Of course, some are far better in this role than others. I didn't get my so we've scoured the globe to bring you the 15 funniest mascot moments in sports. <sighs> Number 15. Mascot Eats Cheerleader the Tennessee Titans mascot, t rack is a raccoon in honor of the state's official animal. Appearing at all of their home games, he's known for his stunts, such as ziplining into the stadium and rappelling down buildings in downtown Nashville. But his most famous performance took place on the field in 2010, during a game against the Raiders, who were then based in Oakland. In the fourth quarter, he got into an argument with one of the cheerleaders after he got in the way of her routine. And for a moment, there was a face-off. t rack let out a gust of air towards her and suddenly leaned over to devour her whole. It took him a while to fully digest her, and then the game was able to continue without further incident. Whoa! Engulfed! The cheerleader was, sadly, never seen again. And the following game, t rack had clearly put on quite some weight. That's definitely the last time anyone from the cheer squad will stand up against him, and definitely explains why Cartoon Network viewers voted him as the most awesome mascot. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or Slenderman will come from under your bed when you're sleeping. Number 14. Jazz Bear It can be tough as a mascot. You're expected to support your team with full vigor, but all the while being heckled and called names by the opposition. The Utah Jazz Bear doesn't take grief from anyone, though, and has some unique ways of dealing with those who aren't on his side. Here in 2013, during a match against the Houston Rockets, he walks through the stand, quite innocently spraying silly string onto anyone wearing the opposition's jersey. One fan doesn't exactly take this well, though, because the string goes straight into his beer. And this is when things took an awkward turn. He stood up, shouted at the bear, and poured his beer over him before wiping the remaining silly string from his shiny bald head. Clearly still agitated, the man continues to shout and has been escorted away by security guards. Let this be a lesson to you. If you're ever in Utah and see a bear, don't cover it in beer. It's never going to end well for you, especially if you're from Texas. Number 13. Houston Astros Dancing Security Guard Mascots are responsible for keeping the crowd entertained during pauses in the match that's unfolding in front of them, but being hidden behind fur gives them a great opportunity to challenge anyone they want to join in with the festivities. Houston Astros has a mascot called Orbit, and as you clearly know, this giant fluffy green thing is, of course, a baseball-loving alien. The sport is the only reason he came to our planet, and it's lucky for him he was able to get a job so close to the action. During the second game of the 2017 ALCS, he was showing some of his dance moves to the crowd when he was approached by one of the security guards to try and get him to move with the groove too. Usually you'd expect security personnel to remain looking glum and to ignore the stupidity around them, but on this occasion, things didn't go as Orbit thought they would. The guard looks at him, thrusting towards him, gives him a cheeky grin, pushes him away, and then starts busting shapes of his own. The funny thing is that the security guard was much better at dancing than Orbit, and truly did have the moves like Jagger. Number 12. Philly Fanatic Pregame 
Philly Fanatic is a giant green furry bird who surprisingly isn't able to fly. He's the mascot of the Philadelphia Phillies MLB team, which is who he has supported all his life in the Galapagos Islands before taking the brave step of following the American dream and moving to the place that's synonymous with cheesesteaks. He's also one of the most famous mascots in the world. <laughs> was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2005 and is often the subject of contract disputes with the team, who refused to let him leave to work elsewhere. If this video's anything to go by, then it's no surprise that they want to keep him, because he's brilliant. During the pregame in 2011, he's seen performing his comedy routine and starts hassling all of the cameramen and other people around him. If there are any other budding mascots watching this video from the far-flung places and remote islands, then take your lead from Fanatic. He's just got the right level of humor and mischief, and it's no surprise that he's the team MVP. Number 11. Orbit Confronts the A's it must be difficult being an alien who's traveled thousands of light years to be a part of a baseball team, especially one that's based in Houston. But despite the confusion of our strange habits, Orbit has certainly made the Astros his home. He's obsessed with the sport, so much so that he even has baseballs on the end of his antennae. But he doesn't always understand what the players are doing before the game. Here in 2018, he's trying to perform a routine in front of the fans, but the pesky players keep making weird movements behind him. He can't quite figure out what they're doing, so gestures at them to help him out. They ignore him, of course, presumably because they don't understand his language, but Orbit comes from a persistent species of aliens and keeps trying. He moves ever closer to the team, who clearly don't want to play ball, but eventually Pinder relents in a moment that he surely regrets. He holds the hoop and Orbit jumps through it, almost taking the player's arm with him in a very awkward close encounter. Number 10. Mascot can't stay on his feet in hilarious outtakes. White Bear Mitsubishi is a car dealership in White Bear Lake, Minnesota. And when they decided to film a commercial, the obvious choice was to choose a hockey rink as their location. They brought in two mascots, a polar bear and a beaver. And while the beaver managed to manage comfortably on ice, surprisingly the polar bear who surely must have spent most of his life in arctic conditions immediately began to struggle. I wore the wrong socks. As soon as the actor says he wore the wrong socks, the bear falls backward onto the ice. And this was just the beginning of his slippery rise to online fame. There were so many mistakes by everyone apart from the beaver that the company released an outtake video detailing all of them. It seems at every moment that a word is spoken, the bear loses its footing. And then, at the end, possibly the funniest moment is once Beaver slides in. The final line is spoken, and just a gentle pat on the back sends the polar bear flying forwards once more. If this is how they handle themselves on the ice, no wonder they're going extinct. Number 9. Mascot Yuppie Got Tossed Usually you'd expect a mascot to be working alongside game officials to ensure that the crowd remains entertained throughout the whole event. But in 1989, things didn't go entirely to plan, and Yuppie, the mascot of the Montreal Expos, became the first, and only, one to be ejected from the stadium. In case you're wondering, he's an orange hairy giant that came from the same strange world that Miss Piggy, Statler, and Waldorf were born. During the infamous game, he was stood on top of the visitor's dugout and decided to take a running leap before landing with a massive thud on the roof of the enclosure. He quickly got up and snuck into a seat in the front row, but it was no use. Somehow the manager of the LA Dodgers had managed to see the discreet orange furball in the act, but it's a reminder of how dangerous even a soft weapon can be in the wrong hands. He complained to the umpires, and Yuppie was unceremoniously thrown out. It didn't end all bad for him, though. He was allowed back in, but confined to the home team's dugout, and would continue being their mascot until the team moved away in 2004. Number 8. Benny the Bull Opens Birthday Presents 
We all know that mascots have birthdays, just like the rest of us. But it's surprisingly rare that these dates coincide with one of their team's games. If this footage is anything to go by, it's probably a good job it doesn't happen very often, because things soon turned into a farcical mess. This is Benny the Bull, the mascot of the Chicago Bulls and during halftime in a game in 2018, the announcer and other mascots threw a surprise present party for him. He begins by looking frighteningly menacing at each of the gifts, and accidentally fires a t-shirt high into the air. But it's when he's given a bet that everything turned chaotic. On came a birthday pinata, and Benny suddenly wondered what the rest of us have questioned for so long. What's actually inside a mascot? Wait, no, 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 Benny, Benny, no. It's an innocent pinata, Benny. No, no, Benny. He laid chase with his bat, and what followed was a Benny Hill inspired race around the court before they ran towards the exit. Sadly, we'll never know for sure whether the pinata contained candy or intestines. Number 7. Pig mascot loses its head, mascots versus children, tug of war. Tug of war was an event that was held at the very first Olympics. But since then, it's become less of an elite pursuit and more like a competition you'll see at a school sports day. In recent years, though, there have been efforts to bring it back into the mainstream, with people taking it extremely seriously. And the first such competition took place in 2016. On that groundbreaking day, a team of professional tug-of-war champions, all of whom were under the age of eight, took on the newcomers, a motley crew of mascots including a cow, a chicken, a pig, a bee, a Care Bear, and, well, some other nondescript foamy creatures. Unsurprisingly, the mascots didn't stand a chance against such an experienced foe, and they soon began to slip and slide all over the grass. At one point, the pig even lost its head due to the extreme forces that were being passed along the rope and revealed an unexpectedly blonde spinal column before managing to retrieve it. The organizers hope this will become the new top-rated sport around the world. The bee's gone down, the, the chicken's gone down, oh good! And we're sure you'll agree, they're on to a bona fide hit. Number 5. Minnesota's Goldie Gopher Trucks Young Football Player there's not much to say about Minnesota's Goldie Gopher mascot. He's from Minnesota, he's called Goldie, and he's a gopher. But he's also a great football player. If you're not quite convinced that an adult rodent who failed in pursuing a career in the game, so resorted to joining the entertainment side of things, can stand up against a teenage recruit, then just watch this footage from a game in 2017. The team of trainees were lined up against Goldie and his team that was made up of a crow, a bear, and some other anthropomorphic animals when the ball was passed to Minnesota's golden child. He took the ball, and boy did he run with it. And just as he approached the end zone, he trucked one of the opposition in brutal fashion. The kid didn't stand a chance, and to top it off, the gopher performs one of the best touchdown celebrations you'll ever see. In scenes that came straight out of The Exorcist, his head starts to spin around and around, proving that he truly is the baddest of them all. Number 4. Savage Moment Mascots are there to rile up the home crowd and help cheer on their team to victory. While you might, as a supporter, get involved in an argument with some visiting fans, you should always rest assured that your mascot is there to take it many levels further than you would ever dare. And the best thing is they always get away with it. In this clip, we see Clutch the Bear, who's the mascot of the Houston Rockets. He's a passionate basketball fan, but he's even more passionate about his dislike of the opposition and decided to use a birthday cake to his advantage. He spotted an enemy fan who was sat courtside and ran straight up to him. Despite the fans' pleas to leave him alone, Clutch ignores him and smacks the cake into his face. The guy was sent flying to the floor, 
in a moment that was far more impressive and savage than the Houston Rockets have ever managed in a game. And the recipient of the attack, for some reason, failed to see the funny side. Number 3. Benny the Bull Kiss Cam Steals Celtics Fan Girlfriend as every guy knows, ball games are the best places to take your girlfriend and put on public displays of affection. If you really love her, maybe you'd even propose to her on the jumbo screen. She'd surely love that! But most times, it's best just to give her a big smooch when the kiss cam focuses on you. You had better be prepared, though, because the whole arena is watching that screen. So if you aren't paying attention, and especially if you're busy on the phone and being impatient with your partner, there just might be a mascot on hand to teach you a lesson. That's what happened at this Chicago Bulls game, when one poor woman began to question where she had gone wrong in life to end up with such a miserable man. But Benny soon showed up to the rescue, made good use of her soda by pouring it all over him, and then carrying her up the stairs. Hopefully this was a lesson to her that she shouldn't take no bull from anyone ever again. Number 2. Deontay Wilder Knocks Out Mascot Cold while most mascots are lovable and adorable, there are quite a few that are creepy and deserve what's coming to them. That's definitely the case with this Mexican mascot for ESPN, who, unsurprisingly, takes on all of the stereotypes we try to avoid in the modern age. But fortunately, the man who fights for justice around the world, Deontay Wilder, just so happened to be in the right studio to promote an upcoming fight he nobly steps forward to banish the ridiculous mascot to the history books and smacks him right between the eyes. Wilder stands tall, with a joyous expression on his face, knowing that he'd just done what every viewer of the show had wished they were able to do for years. But it seems the hosts were more concerned about the body lying motionless on the floor. It turns out that mascots aren't impervious to pain, and taking a punch from one of the world's best bodies boxers isn't something they're prepared for. Perhaps next time, they'll bring in Speedy Gonzalez to give him a real test of his reflexes. Number 1. Best Mascot Fight Ever if you've ever wondered what struck first, the orange chicken or the purple dinosaur, then you're just about to find out. This has got to be the greatest on-field battle between mascots of all time. And it begins as a dance-off where the dino undoubtedly puts the chicken in its place. <laughs> In fairness, there's only one dance a chicken can ever do, so it decides to change tack. As its opponent is walking away, the chicken instigates a wrestling match that even Vince McMahon would be proud of. It launches itself at the dinosaur and gets a three count. It throws the dinosaur over the security barrier and consigns it to history, just where it belongs. All they needed were some pyrotechnics and an undertaker, and there would have been no question that this was sports entertainment at its finest. Which of these mascot moments did you find to be the funniest? And if you are given the chance to be a mascot, what would you choose to be? And how would you entertain the crowds? Make sure to let us know in the comments section. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!